Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow finished up seven. Nasdaq down 12. S&P's off six and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the second hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. The way you get the opening call, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to hit newsletters, and you're going to see the opening call right on the right-hand side, uh, bottom line. Basil has it out every trading day. You can subscribe to the opening call for $128 for one month. You can get six months for $595. That's a savings of $173. You can get a year for $995, which is a saving of $541. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So bottom line, nothing to lose, everything to gain. Check it out on the front page of TFNN right under newsletters. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on is that we've got a very interesting market here. If you look at the different indexes, you've got the QQQ, which is the NDX 100 trading vehicle, yesterday making a new recovery high. You've got the, um, I, the let me go in sequence. So you've got the QQQs. Then you've got the S&P, which just squeaked yesterday to a new recovery high above. It's at 20, it went to 28.21. And the previous high was at 28.16 before that very sharp five-day sell-off. And then you've got the Dow, and you'll see that the Dow is way lower. Look, the Dow is way off the high, 26,241, and it's trading here at 25,709. And then you've got the IWM. So when I put this together for subscribers, what I'm saying is, you see, he has the IWM at 154. The high was at 159.50. This is the Russell 2000. So I think what we've got here in this diversion, and you've, you can see it now also in some of the uh, stocks that are really tech-oriented. Uh, you just spoke about Adobe coming out with earnings, and it was looking fantastic. And it went to a new uh, recovery, well, actually to a recovery high, but just under the all-time high. And here it is, comes out with news, and it's only up 67 cents. So this is a very important phase as far as I'm concerned. What I am looking at here is, for subscribers, we still long in certain stocks and certain sectors that I think are kind of, in a way, under the radar, and they're doing very nicely. Um, and we're interestingly, we're still along the dollar from a year, almost a year ago from April. They did have quite a bit of a pullback from 97.71 to the low yesterday in the 96.40 area, traded at 96.78. So I still think it's digesting Big gains that it made earlier on um, about uh, going into the high that was made in 97.71. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I'm still a little cautious. We did take some money off when we, we were short going into the low that was made. But I, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking there's a lot of work that needs to be done after such a spectacular move from 21,712 in the Dow back in uh, 26th of December all the way to 26, 20, 241. I mean, that's a 20% gain. That's a gain that sometimes you can wait a year or two to get that kind of accumulation in an index. So I still think there has to be some digestion of that. I'm still bullish longer term. I think the Dow does go to all-time highs. But I think we need to, to, to me, this is just a period of rest. And we can see that on the one hand, Boeing normally would have just knocked the market down. You can imagine Boeing is part of the Dow. That should have been a whopper of a down day. In fact, the Dow turned around and on, on Monday and it ran up sharply. So that's saying there is internal strength. There is, There are enough money managers and fund managers that are wanting to get in. But I'm looking at this and I'm saying, you know, on the other hand, I'm looking at kind of overbought in a shorter term a daily uh, marker for me in most of the indexes. But the weekly charts are improving a lot. So it's a mixed market. I'm looking at certain stocks that I said to subscribers. We've got our list. There are stocks that if they pull back sharply, those are the ones that we'd like an opportunity to get. Um, so I'm looking at this as if it's an opportunity. But I do think we're bumping into some strong resistance. And you can see that by the way that some of the indexes have gone to new recovery highs. And others like the Dow and the IW, the Russell 2000, are kind of, I wouldn't say they're struggling, but they, they're not doing as well. Well, yeah, you can see, I mean, what's going to get intriguing here, uh, folks, is that the because, you know, the, the Dow is a price-weighted average, 
without right. Boeing, the Dow is going to have a problem. <laughs> I mean, correct. You know, well, you know the point, point, point wise, thousands. folks, it, it's right. a, it's an astronomical number how much just Boeing alone had put into the expansion of the Dow Industrials. I think it's something like two thousand points over the last couple of years. I mean, that's huge. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's 11% of the index, so well, yeah, yeah. and that that is one big number. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, so we'll see where this whole thing uh, shakes out. That's right. And one of the, one of the aspects that I'm looking at here is the VIX. Normally, I say if the VIX is in the 13 to 12 area, that's usually very bullish. You should get in the Dow. You should be getting a hundred a triple digit move on the, on the upside. So something's telling me that yes, the VIX is down in the 13s. But we haven't got that next leg on the upside. So I, I just think there's a little waiting period here. I just want to see how the Dow's at 25,700. I think 20, 25,520, 25,460, somewhere there. That should be good support. If that support goes, then it's going to be a longer consolidation. And on the upside, a break into the 25,900s, I have to say, whoops, <laughs> we're on our way up again. And that could mean that. Maybe Boeing's seen the worst of it. I don't think so. But, uh, you know, and Apple actually has taken a little bit of the lead. Apple was yeah, the leader. And Apple, look at that. Yeah, Apple definitely, what it, what it happened, as I just said a little bit earlier, when Boeing, you know, was all the negative, folks, in the Dow Industrials on Monday, um, that was the only negative stock because Apple basically took it up the the rear and basically picked it up. Uh, you know, Apple had gone from 169 up to 179 and that put juice inside the Dow. Well, every stock did. That that day the only negative stock was Boeing and you know bottom Correct. line it wasn't as bad. See if you go back it wasn't as bad as the open. If you go back there Oh yeah, it's know, down over 200 points. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a big move. Boeing had got open got down to 365, closed out of 400 and then the next day it just got smoked all the way right back down. So it is, it's, there's no doubt it's going to be interesting watching this whole thing shake out. And then tomorrow, so tomorrow we get option expiration. Correct. And you get the um, reshuffling, folks, uh, reweighting of the S&P 500 on the close tomorrow. So there is going to be some big action uh, as uh, these money managers have to go in and out and rebalance their, their portfolios. So little fireworks coming up. We'll see which way I that market wants to go. Well, absolutely. So uh, in the meantime, back at the ranch, uh, the, the positions that we have, I like the positions. I'm watching, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at different areas that are potentially good. You know, we spoke about the uh, grains. Now all of a sudden you can see wheat has done it very nicely today. It's just a start, but it hasn't really taken off. So I'm, watch I'm watching to see how money flows into the different areas. And maybe finally we get the agricultural area to just get a little bit of strength and allow money to go somewhere where there's a, there's a good uplift to come. Yeah, that, that doll is still hanging tough, and that's what's going to have to crack for those commodities, no doubt. Right. Listen, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right on the newsletters. You hit newsletters. You hit the opening call. You get it for a month, six months, a year. All with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Hey, what's the weather like up there right now? Very nice day today. Sweet. Melting the snow. Beautiful. That's Oh, you got yes. snow. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, melting the snow. Thanks so much, you man. You forgot about that. It's S-N-O-W. S-N-O-W, yeah. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Come right back.